Hello everyone and happy Earth Day. Shawnee of Shawnee and Charlie here coming at you guys with a video. I figured since it's Earth Day, why not do a gardening or environmental type video? So I decided to do that today. Um, plus doing the whole container gardening video yesterday. If you haven't seen that, the link is in the description box. Um, it kind of let my gardener side just go wild. I mean, <laughs> I have so much information I want to share, um, but I don't want to overload you guys with a bunch of information. So today I want to do a video on um, attracting pollinators to your garden or um, specifically attracting bees to your garden. And every year that I start searching for seeds to be able to plant flowers to attract bees to my garden, my mom always asks me the same question every single year. Why do you want bees in your garden? You know, so um, I'm not afraid of bees and part of the reason is I do I do a lot of research like I say in almost every video that I um, talk about researching is I'm a researcher that's what I do I love to read I love to learn new things so I took the time and I educated myself on different types of bees different behavior of bees and majority of bees out there just don't want to attack you I do a separate video just talking about the different behaviors and different types of bees because I really feel like there's not enough information out there on bees and mostly in Georgia and around the U.S. is what um, the statistics that I've been looking at. Um, they It is a steady decline on bees and a lot um, I kind of went on a little rant there on bees but one thing is to just we need bees every single year is around my cucumbers around my eggplant around my tomato squash around all my my um vegetables that need the help of bees to be pollinated and need to be pollinated and need the help of bees i plant specific flowers that i know are going to attract bees now i have a couple more areas that i need to dig up i'm going to do a couple of containers um but what i need to do is i need to get bees in my yard if i can get bees in my yard um, I'm set and I'm in the ground today I'm about to break up some ground so I'll let you guys see how I'm breaking up the ground myself without an actual tiller um, before it starts to rain and that's why I want to get these seeds out like ASAP because there's nothing like rain I can water them myself but there's nothing like the water that comes straight from heaven so let me just show you guys how I break up my ground to create one of my bee gardens Woo! show is hot out here no I don't mind though what I'm about to do next is I am about to use this cultivator here and this is a this is actually a weed eater but I bought this attachment to help break up the ground since I don't have a tiller so it has served the purpose of a small tiller for a small area but um, so I'm about to use this to break up the rest of this ground so we can get these seeds in because the rain is coming y'all. I can smell it. <laughs> it's coming. So let's try to start this baby. not liking the miracle grow because it's not organic except for the raised bed saw um someone gave me this potted mix saw i haven't used it i opened it up yesterday and i thought about using it on my veggies but i didn't want to put the chemicals on my veggies so i'm gonna go ahead and just use it to fill this spot today just so it won't go to waste but i typically do not use miracle grow unless it's the raised bed saw or the organic um, because that's organic so I am going to use it just to fill this space today since I'm not actually going to be eating any of these flowers I think it'll be okay but I don't like to waste things and when people give me things you know I try not to turn it down but if you want to use this I mean you can but it's just me if you're trying to do everything organic get their raised bed soil or their nature's care soil and that is 100% organic and I'm sorry if my head is cut off <laughs> so I'm just going to sprinkle this Lift my hands, I understand that I 
Rain is actually starting now, so I probably have to shut down the camera. But the first thing that I'm going to do is put down the bee mix that I have. And when planting your seeds like this, and you can see all these different types. All these different types of seeds in there. So we just throw, throw them out. One thing about when you're creating a bee garden, you want it to be thick. I mean, you want it to be thick and full of variety. So I put those seeds out. And like I told you, I wanted a, a, like a fence of sunflower seeds. So you don't have to bury your other seeds, but it's good to bury your sunflower seeds because your the birds will actually get the sunflower seeds. They'll dig them up sometimes, but if you leave them uncovered, they would definitely get your sunflower seeds. So I'm trying to beat this rain. Everything that could go wrong all went wrong at one time. So much pressure fell on me. I don't know how I forgot this bad boy here. These bachelor's buttons. Okay, as you can see here, it's the pollinator variety and uh, provides nectar and pollen to bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. So bachelor's button is definitely one to have on your list if you're gonna have a bee or a pollinator garden. I thought I was gonna lose my you don't necessarily have to cover them. You can leave them uncovered. I like to rake them in and lightly cover them simply because the same thing with the sunflower seeds is the birds the birds will come and get them and eat them and you know so i like to take my little rake and just rake them in after i rake them in i do like to put a little bit of cow manure like a, a thin coat of cow manure on the top and that helps see if i will hold on through these trials but i need you to so this is it this is my bee or my pollinator garden if you're thinking about growing a bee or a pollinator garden um, anything you plant after you plant it you have to water, make sure you water it really well just water it really well but since it's about the rain I already felt some drops I'm just gonna let mother nature do its thing and um, I'll keep coming back every week showing you how everything's growing here um, but I guess that's it. So, as usual, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And to you, see ya. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye. Commonure. I was gonna blow your kids, but I have commonure on my hands. So, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> All right, guys. So, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Remember to like, to comment, to subscribe, and to share. Remember to subscribe. That is very, very important so you don't miss any future videos and hit that bell. Anything else you want to see on this channel, please comment down below. Let me know and I'll be more than happy to oblige. Thank you so much for watching and as usual, toodaloo! See you in the next one. Bye-bye.